2022 is unfolding as a season of epic proportions. It hasn't even been two months since the start of this new year, but in this very short amount of time, we have seen countless incredible moments, setting the stage for one of the greatest years in athletics history. We've already witnessed Grant Fisher unleash a historic 12.53 in the Indoor 5000, we've seen Kelly Hodgkinson break the British record in the Indoor 800, and we had the pleasure of seeing the incredible return of the Norwegian Olympic champion Jakob Ingebrigtsen, who in his very first race of 2022, broke the Indoor 1500 meter world record with a time of 3 minutes 30.60 seconds. This indoor campaign has certainly started off with a bang, but when the outdoor season finally does arrive, things are almost guaranteed to get crazy. In just 140 days, the World Championships in track and field will be going down in Eugene, Oregon, marking the very first time that this global event has ever been held in the United States. And given Eugene's deep and rich history in the sport, including being the actual birthplace of Nike itself, records are almost surely set to fall in just a few months' time. With so much anticipation and endless talent looking to the West Coast this summer, it's difficult to imagine that this season will not be one for the record books. And even though these athletes will likely play a very significant role in this year's championships, two very special individuals, hailing from one small island in the Caribbean, are currently on pace to challenge one of the longest standing world records in track and field history. In the small island of Jamaica, one of the world's most gifted athletes trains with a never-ending desire for improvement. And this year, in 2022, her eyes are set forward for a chance to make history. Sprinting up steep hills, powering through lifting sessions, and maintaining a highly detailed and ultra-disciplined lifestyle, Shelly Ann Fraser Price is determined to do what no athlete has been able to do in over 33 years. On July 16th of 1988, the world stood still as Florence Griffith Joyner set the women's 100 meter record in 10.49 seconds, a world record performance that still stands today. For every season since this 100 meter time, no athlete has even been within one tenth of a second of this 10.49. But after one of the most unbelievable seasons in sprinting history, Fraser Price recently said, I definitely think a 10.50 is possible, and the world record can be achieved. This mindset was almost non-existent for more than 30 years, but in 2021, she shocked the world, and the possibilities for the women's 100 would forever change. On June 5th of 2021, Price achieved a time of 10.63 seconds, which at the time was the fastest 100 meter performance since Florence Griffith Joyner. Following this performance, she won the Olympic silver medal in 10.74, another incredible time. But then on August 26th, she dropped a 10.60 second performance, outlasting the Olympic champion herself, Elaine Thompson Hera. Over the course of these three months, Fraser Price ran two of the fastest 100 meter times in the history of the women's 100. But only adding to the greatness of this athlete was the fact that she ran under 10.80 seconds on seven separate occasions in 2021. With explosive power and incredible top end speed, Price took her endless determination and converted it into many of the greatest races in the history of track and field. But not to be outdone, was her own teammate, Elaine Thompson Hera, also hailing from Jamaica. In the exact same season, Thompson Hera somehow managed an even more impressive campaign in the Women's 100. Boosted by her new self-confidence building up to the Olympic Games, she broke Florence Griffith Joyner's Olympic record in the 100, hitting a time of 10.61 seconds. And even though this time made headlines all around the globe and set new standards for sprinting possibilities, her greatest performance would come just three weeks later in the Nike Prefontaine Classic. This 100 meter race was set up as one of the most anticipated showdowns of the entire season. Along with her two teammates, Fraser Price and Sharika Jackson, 
was the United States athlete, Shakari Richardson. And for this race, she was placed directly between the two fastest women alive. And even though this 100 was supposed to be a highly contested, super competitive showdown, Thompson Hera absolutely destroyed the entire field. With a time of 10.54 seconds, Thompson Hera broke the Diamond League record, she broke her national record, she ran the fastest time in 33 years, and she also took down Shakari Richardson by six tenths of a second. Oof, that one's gotta hurt. This was the first time in history that any athlete had run within one tenth of a second of Flojo's world record. And it also marked the single fastest speed ever attained by a female athlete, as Thompson Hera achieved a top speed of just over 40 kilometers per hour in this race. And with this newfound momentum and incredible victory over her peers, her sights are now set on 10.49 seconds. In a recent interview, she was also asked about the potential of attacking Flojo's world record. And to this question, she simply replied, to get that record, you have to be in perfect shape, have perfect weather, and a good lineup. I will not put pressure on myself, but when that day comes, I will nail it. I'm going to nail it. Whenever I get that race, I've just got to get it right. From the year 2000 through 2020, the closest that any athlete had been to Flojo's record was 0.15 seconds, which in the 100 meter dash is a huge margin. But in 2021, these two sprinters placed themselves closer than any athlete in history, with Thompson Hera only running five one hundredths of a second away from the world record. And moving into this new 2022 season, the world record from 1988 is clearly in danger. In stark contrast to Fraser Price, Thompson Hera began her 2022 campaign by jumping into various races during this indoor season. In total, she ran three 60 meter races indoors, and she ran extremely well for each showing, hitting a season's best of 7.04 seconds, which does fall just behind her personal best of 6.98, but it also shows that she is still highly competitive in the shorter sprints. The biggest area of improvement for Thompson Hera is clearly her start, and this indoor season was the perfect practice to further sharpen this skill. If she can improve on her start at all, she will be a huge threat to break 10.49, especially when she has top end speed like this. Now for Fraser Price, her start is arguably the greatest in the history of the 100. Appropriately nicknamed the Pocket Rocket, her small but powerful stature gives her a massive advantage over the opening 60 meters. But in contrast to Thompson Hera, her top end speed is the only area where she could show improvements. It's very interesting to see how these two all-time greats are actually quite different in their racing strengths. One has amazing top end speed, one has a tremendous start, but together, they both have a real shot at the world record of Florence Griffith Joyner. And now I'm gonna leave this final question to all of you. Will Shelley Ann Fraser Price or Elaine Thompson Hera break Flojo's world record in 2022? And ultimately, who will win this year's world championships in Eugene, Oregon, and how fast will they run? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time.